A wet winter resulted in a lot of brush on the ground, and that, of course, could become fuel for fires. We've already seen dozens of fires in just the past month alone, and we're still days away from the official beginning of summer. Kimberly Speakman tonight turned to the experts for answers on how we could all protect our homes and property. About 20,000 acres burn each year here in Hawaii. That's according to the Hawaii Wildfire Management Organization. They just released an action plan to give people ideas on how to protect their homes from a fire. Tips like clearing your yard of debris and things that can easily catch on fire, trimming bushes and grass, and creating an escape plan if the wildfire reaches your home. And this all reduces the chance of your home getting ignited by a fire and then clearing around your home um, is increasing the safety for the firefighters that will be coming to protect your home. HFD tells me that in the past month alone, there have been 55 wildfires. Several HFD crews had to go in and battle the flames for eight of those 55. Kevin Kodama of the National Weather Service says that these recent brush fires could be a consequence of the recent rainy weather. There's uh, a lot of uh, brush that, you know, when we get into the normal summertime dryness in the leeward areas, that, you know, these areas can dry out and then be more prone to, um, you know, ignition. If it's really hot and windy conditions, uh, those are the kinds of red flags, uh, for lack of a better word, th those are the kind of indicators that say, okay, maybe um, the risk is higher today. For more information on how to protect your home from a wildfire, visit our website, khon2.com. Kimberly Speakman, KHON 2 News.